Does anyone know yep. we're here? Good morning. Good morning, humans. You um, circus animals. So I was pleading for everyone to start at 11 because I know it's time change. And Tim said, no, I want to get this shit over with. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, <laughs> we want to have a life after lives because... What's it, six days a week worth of work? And then now it's turned into seven because of the lives on Sunday. So, you know, I mean, hell, I'm so not... The 23 people that are on, when we normally have like 100 and something. I'm sure it's because of the time change. Or they're just bums, right? Doesn't everybody use their phone anyway? Most yeah, but their have... body is like, it's nine, not ten. Yeah, but I get up at four. So my body says, it's after four. <laughs> and I don't set an alarm. Hyper, you know what I forgot to do? Make coffee. Ah! Are you gonna make it this early? I'm just saying. Well, well, according to you, it's technically up oh, 47 people now. They did. <laughs> they did it. Um, Lady making... Picture Show says I've been up for hours. Me too, man. Um, Jeremy R. No, I normally wake up at four, no matter what, on my days off. Isn't that annoying? I, 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 me too. It's like Hunter says my body says it's 7 a.m. and my brain says it is also. Yeah. <laughs> and Hunter sets an alarm to get on these things and he's in Arizona. Yeah. He was pleading for us to do it later too. I'm like, nope. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah I'm a jerk face. I blame Tim for this. No. I mean, look, it's a nice day here. It's like a spring day. So it'll be mid 50s, sunny. It's been raining for fucking days up in this place. See, I, I censored myself. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be a better human on live streams. I think we should do all the exciting stuff early for the people that are here. Yeah. All the giveaways. Yeah. All the updates. Yeah. And everybody joins in an hour. You mean? We'll be like, um, there, there's no updates it. of any importance, are there? Nothing to see here. Um, anyway, that wouldn't be important at all. <laughs> but like I was saying, it's a nice day here, so I might want to go out in my backyard and shoot some stuff. I'm sure you will. I might. I don't know, it depends on if C Dub gives me permissive stuff. We could talk about this sheath because uh, somebody's gonna ask a million and a half times. Um, Glenn, one of our patrons, was asking me. He's in, uh, I think Norway, but he said he got a sheath. And his knife was rattling in there. Like he was shaking it. It was rattling. And then I grabbed mine off my hip and I shook it. And I was like, well, that's interesting. So the 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 gold screws were making rattle. And this one does if you really, but mostly it doesn't. That's like, I don't know, a normal. But the gold screw one was like, it sounded like a rattlesnake. Joey but. says we're, Joey says, hello, Mr. Tim and Mrs. Morning, Joey. You, you're an hour early Arizona time. I, yeah, Cheryl, I don't know if you heard what I said earlier. You guys I, tried, do... I tried to start an hour later, but Tim Does Arizona it. not do time change? I'm just saying. Spring forward here in Yeah, but everybody, Georgia. everybody feels like it's 9 a.m. right now. Even though it's 10 a.m. Well, it's like I said. I feel like it's after 4 a.m. when my stupid body wakes me up every day, regardless. Are y'all serious? You what? really don't have a time change, or are y'all just joking? I don't know. Some some states do, some states don't. That's crazy. Yeah, that people are saying there's no time change in Arizona, but I don't know if they're joking or not. I know there are states that don't. So the whole country needs to go back to just leaving it alone. Leave it alone. Time change is stupid. It was, it's the dumbest thing on the planet. I think it was done for World War II, wasn't it? Some was craziness it? like that. Even though we're about to start World War III. It's, you know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, to me, it feels like normal time. I, you know, I wake up to hearing coffee being made. That's crazy. So it says that they... They are saying they don't have it in Arizona for real. Look at here. Look at here. I would do it at 7 a.m. Eastern if I could. Yeah, we would do it early and no one would be on. Because I'm an early riser. Like, this is my nap time. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm serious. I eat lunch around now because I'm up at 4, 3 30, 4 o'clock every day. Anyway, anyway, good morning, Joey, Cheryl, you guys, everyone else. How is everybody doing? Tired? 
Like, Sean Weiss, every, everything on your site is sold out. How do I order one? You got to get on when we do our drops. We did our last drop January the 1st, and they sold out. And the next drop is coming April the 1st, which is two weeks, less than, well, two and a half weeks, I guess, three weeks, some, some shit. Um, so we're dropping 2,400 blades on April the 1st, and that will be a second drop of everything, almost everything that we did in January, plus mercenaries, sappers, FMFs. V What's the magic eight ball for, Pete? Use the magic eight ball. I mean, he may be talking about cocaine. Oh, yeah. Hunter Hunter made a Discord, y'all, and he put a bunch of work into that. We really appreciate that. Yeah, man, that's... I was looking at it. He created it, all kinds of hashtags. It blows and stuff. my mind, man. I, I can't do stuff like that. I'm like knives. Yeah, y'all go over there and check it out. I saw I saw some of the little chats going on. It looks is cool. Ron Nizzy on here? I haven't seen him yet, but he right. did send us, us some delicious beef jerky. Need to freaking wake up. I've heard that Hunter and and Mistold both have experienced this. Stephen Clayton, the Discord has been fun. Yeah, and your EDC was crazy. It had all kind of stuff in it. All I know. Kinds of knives. It's like me. <laughs> it was. It looked cool. The whole reason I invented the suspenders because I carry a bunch of crap every day. Did I text yesterday? Okay, Ron won't be here today. Hunter said. Ridiculous. Well, I guess should we wait and talk about his beef jerky when he's on? Well, he told me he was looking forward to me telling the story about the Cambodian festival we crashed tomorrow. So maybe he lied to me. I didn't know that he made jerky and fallacies. You fibber. Uh, how can Fibonacci. I find out what steel I ordered in the January blades? Mm. We can look it up for you. Yeah, I mean, you your confirmation email, email would tell you also, but I guess I could do it for you. Okay, so he said he's going to watch it later, so you can talk about it if you want to. No, I don't want to. Not anymore. <laughs> ever again. Well, there's not a bunch of people on, right? We got 100 folks now. Oh, so you are a liar. C-Dub is a liar. Well, it's normally like 150. Well, those 50 right people now. need to wake the blank up. Another self censor. Awesome. So Tim has been Man. really spending a lot of time getting his this room ready for a rumble pew pew yep. live for yep. anybody who's interested in that because we can't do it over here. So yeah, so. I'm thinking about doing a secondary um yeah, Ryan Shira, the best hundred are here. That's right. Uh. That's right. Except for one of those guys made some pretty fire jerky. I'm just saying, he's not here. Man, <laughs> I actually tried every one of the flavors that he sent, and it's incredible. Um, I don't know if you guys even notice at all what's even different about the rune. Most of it is that way. Um, but all of that's going to be included eventually, the whole room. Because I kind of have a bunker, like for real. Down Everybody here. is excited for you to do this on Rumble. Yeah, so it... it I think we're going to do more firearms content because, look, those two things go hand in hand for me. Blades and bangs. You know what I mean? That's just how I am. And the reason my blades took the life that they took is because I'm always carrying both. And I didn't feel like anybody was making stuff that made a lot of sense to carry alongside of a firearm. So. Hunter said he ate all the bags of jerky in two days. Yeah, it's addictive because it's like crispy instead of being super chewy. It's like a, I mean, let's talk about this. Potato chips, incredible. Beef, incredible. Beef and potato chips, the Cambodians got it down. I'm just saying. Are, is it all Cambodian? Like, so, is that traditionally how they make it? Yes. So I was messaging him yesterday on Patreon, thanking him for it. And I said, I said, this is genius. That it's like a potato chip. And he goes, that's how Cambodian stuff is done. And then I, I told him a little bit of the story how we crashed that Cambodian festival. And then he sent a link to one that's going to be in Atlanta, which is where we were. It might be the same one. It might be. when we No, well, this is like a multicultural festival, which is totally our speed. Why am I standing like this? Like <laughs> caddy corn. I just wonder, like. You filling your, your hat and doing weird stuff? Yeah, I'm wearing my. My modern hat today. 
I got all this gray is coming in my beard. I figured I'd mix it up. With Eric, we haven't talked about the folder yet. What? We, There's no folder. We will. There's no such thing as a folder. Cambodian beef jerky question mark. Holy crap. Look, we'll just talk about it because he doesn't market it as that. So look, oops. This is the brand on specialties. Can I see? Is that in the right spot? Yep. So it's, he makes it in, I guess, right outside of Boston. But um, here's his website on specialties.com. Can you see it on there? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Hunter, if you don't mind, will you share that link? So this is the mango one. I've tried officially every flavor. So I'm going to pull one of these out of here. I really like the habanero one because I like hot stuff. But let's, so look, can you see? It's like piss paper. <laughs> I love this beef jerky commercial. I'm just saying, though, look, when I like something, you hear that? Here, you eat this piece. It's the mango. My mock restaurant in Atlanta is number one for Cambodian Here. food from Andre. Oh, we should try that. We love. Yeah, we love ethnic foods. Listen to this. Holy Honey, crap. Honey, nobody wants to hear crunching. Why'd you give me this? Look, we'll do a crunch. It's good as hell, though. Mm -hmm. That's, That's awesome. the mango. Yeah, because what I I'm don't like man. about beef jerky is like gnawing Breaking on it. your it's teeth like off? so chewy. Yuck. I'm not just saying it. Hunter alluded to it. The flavor, every one of the flavors that he sent is just, They're this was awesome. awesome, man. They're so good. I told him, I said, you know, well, I prefer Cambodian over redneck beef jerky now because holy crap. <laughs> I'm telling you. Extra crispy beef jerky. And then I like his little slogan on the paper he sent. It said, pay for beef, not water. He's, they're, they're just withdrawing all the beef out of it. Out of the, the water. Beef, the water. water. <laughs> no beef, all water. Look, man. Stupid good, too. See, yeah, this so one we, we, has we green crashed, tea in it. We crashed the Cambodian festival. I think it was private, and we, yeah, we just so showed up. We're that's like, how oh, we are. Cool. We're driving around. We used to spend a lot of time in Atlanta. Used to live in Atlanta, close to Virginia Highlands, know the area. Used to spend a lot more time eating and experiencing all the different little subcultures of Atlanta before everything Atlanta got insane. Atlanta's great for that kind of stuff. It really is. Like Buford Highway, there are some good restaurants Man. over there. Yeah, and so don't be stupid and racist and go experience some new stuff. But we were driving around. I don't know why we were where we were. I had just done a gig. Oh, we were, she had just done a gig. That yeah, makes sense. And we were coming back, and it was somewhere in, I guess, Forest Park or something. Yeah, yeah, suburb of Atlanta. So we go by, and there's this giant statue of Buddha. I'm talking like. <laughs> Wait, was it Buddha? I'm I just pretty sure. All kinds of like animal statues i don't know i'm sorry if this is offensive there's a big huge multi-story golden human-ish looking figure that, yeah and we took pictures with him and then we were like uh oh this is probably like probably sacrilegious. super insulting but um we were like heck yeah so we start walking around like it's nothing and everybody's staring at diddy bob and they're looking at us like these are the whitest people i've ever seen at this place and at first it was a little bit odd to them i think because i do believe it was a private event if it did say a private event, I don't speak Cambodian. So I don't know. I couldn't read it. It says, keep out if you're not invited. But we did it anyway. And the food was incredible. The music was incredible. It was just, it was a lot of fun. We probably way overstayed our welcome. And they got used to us walking around after a while. But at first it was kind of like, they're like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, I don't care. I mean, if I would care if somebody said you need to leave, but. It was cool. The, the Discord works on my phone. I don't know if it's a laptop or computer thing. Mine works fine. Look, I really appreciate you guys doing all these things. Please know that I cannot spend a lot of time on all these different things. Because well, no, last that, week... That one is more like our yeah people that... And they chat about our stuff and other topics too. But yeah. it's like, you know, they're... Where they can go, hey, get him off of here. He's going to mess this camera up. Can I turn him into Cambodian but he's gonna, cat he's, jerky? He's going to knock this camera. He never goes right there. You're so dumb. Look, here it is. This is how you. 
<laughs> they probably have some rule where you can't show yeah. cats on the water. Is that cat 16 years old? Cut the stream. <laughs> with, it's cat abuse. Hey, you little furry stupid. That's literally what I call him all the time. I'll text her. This furry stupid is getting into my stuff again. The furry stupid is trying to come back over here again. It's because you're there. So, honey, what's going on with you this week? Well, <laughs> let's talk about what happened last week. We got 500 blades back in from Nickel Boron, which was AEBL Hawks, AEBL CGs. Um, we got more 80 CRV Piranhas and more 80 CRV Night Stalkers. 500 total. And then yesterday, we got 320 screwdrivers in from Nickel Boron. And then, so starting. Last the people week, that haven't gotten their screwdrivers. That's yet. why. I don't know what. Okay. I'm going to have to go down to Nick Boron and start punching people in the head. Because they just missing. They're, <laughs> they're doing them in a weird order. So whatever. Hey, Brandon Maples. How are the combatants coming along? Folder will be sick. $20. Thanks, dude. Um, The combatants are still sitting in number 82 that have been deburred and ready for heat treat. So. I would really like to get those finished, but we kind of got distracted on 500 of the other blades, now 300 PS 87s. Get out of that box, you furry stupid. You know what box he's in? What? The beef jerky box. <laughs> you are going to die a very rapid death. Get out of here. I kill you. I'm going to throw it up on that. <laughs> he left. Okay. Raymond. Is Raymond on? I thought you said he was. You're talking about his loadout. No, that's Stephen Clayton. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I don't... You get in all your T. Kellyans mixed up. That's mostly because I'm retarded. My body thinks it's nine. <laughs> I just made that up. Anyway, when you rewatch this, Raymondo, uh, little daughter, loved this, and it's her frozen box because the aluminum feels cold to her and it looks like ice because it's frosted so thank you for sending that she loves it so i was only able to steal this for a few minutes so i did want to mention that i didn't get to do the giveaway because she our daughter was kind of sick so yeah I, I'm, yeah i i'm organizing a giveaway for people that on patreon that are um, can't afford to buy a blade and we've got a list going and we'll get to that soon yeah so that obviously takes precedent and Mommy also first. also i want to say a bunch of people on there said they'd like to donate to stuff yeah like we've that. had two so people oh man that's really did cool. i send those invoices i sent an invoice to somebody joe you sent joe's invoice well you saying that out loud what if he doesn't there's like 52 joes oh on our patreon <laughs> okay. So I didn't say a thing. What's the updates on the last FLNs from Chris B? Um, well, so we are almost done beveling the ringed ones because I took those as priority. So they should be heading to the final stage of QC before I heat treat this week, I think. Friday. Van Ringman said he didn't get his invoice. If you wanted to donate and you talked to us on Patreon and you didn't get an invoice, just uh, send us a message because it may have got we may have forgot it. The first two gun virtue. Your room is my idea of the ultimate man cave. Thanks, man. It. Uh, you know what? I hate it in here until CW comes in. No shit, because I'll be down here like, so like, what are you doing? I'm like, just wondering if you come hang out with me. Oh, that's sweet, honey. It's sort of sweet. Um, <laughs> Corey Johnson, sorry, just join. What's up with the Warthog? Justin Lebo, if you could only choose one, would you do FMF or Mercenary? Oh, okay. Warthog first. It's dropping April the 1st. So, and I also, what we did on the AEBL for the January 1st drop was, uh, say I did a hundred of one, I would do half of that again. So I'd do 50 in AEBL and 180 CRV. But I noticed an uptick in the industry. I guess everybody's listening to me that AEBL is, my opinion, one of the very best stainless steels on the planet, even better than CPM stuff, because you can actually sharpen it and it's durable as hell. So we noticed a huge uptick in interest in the AEBL. So I brought the AEBL numbers up to match ADCRV. 
So on all of the April 1st drops, Warthog included, it'll be the first time we do Warthogs in AEBL, BT dubs. Um, I love saying phrases that make my gray beard make total sense to everybody. BT dubs, like I'm uh, over 40 and trying to be stupid and young. Any hoosers, another one. AEBL, ADCRV, <laughs> Warthogs, April 1st. I think I'm doing a hundred of each because that's reintroducing the Warthog with its new sheath. And as some of you know, from when we do a new blade project, things change from batch to batch to batch to batch. I mean, I have tweaked the Raider every batch for three years, just making it what better based on feedback, that kind of stuff. So I'm doing a small of the Taylors and the Warthogs April 1. I'm telling you, you better be there because if there's any indication what happened January the 1st, didn't believe in the go, man. And I do believe, I do believe the Agent 001 will be out there for reservation. But I've got three weeks to get the final steel prototypes done and approved before um, I can release those. Walter Street, what do you mean? Like people that have won in the past don't allow them to win again? Is that what you mean by that? Ever? How, how does everybody else feel about that? People that have won previous giveaways are out of potential giveaways. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know, man. If I won the lottery, I'm going to keep playing the lottery. That's just me, personally. Oh, Bob DeMarie Cool just texted me. Whoa. Let them keep entering. No way. Um, is the Taylor's Ridge going to be in ABL? Yes. First time ever also. So yeah, everything is going to be, so I brought it. So I was going to do 200 mercenaries in ADCRV and 100 in AEBL, but I just brought those up 200, 200 and look, Hey, you forgot Cheryl Houghton's patches on his messenger bag. I know. Here's we this. forgot some patches for people. Just reach out. Yeah, I know. And reaching out lately is like hollering into the distance and hoping. Ryan Henley says back. you can set it up on your machine to only have one winner a month a day every three months what i guess it's a setting on that comment picker that we use for Streamyard, whatever yeah i did i did want to say him now you can't tell but that pop-up card that you sent forever ago is back there popped up you just can't really tell it's like super far away who who sent that ryan oh it's back there oh, okay but if i took it down i knocked a million freaking things down Eric, yes, we have been to Pine Mountain many times. I yeah. used to have our, our family reunions used to be held over there. The Smiths, we have a big family. Yeah, all over the world. <laughs> it's not very original. Um, and then when I was um, a youth, we did um, RAs, which is kind of like the Christian Boy Scouts. We did camping and stuff at Pine Mountain like a couple weeks every summer. Yeah, because we there. lived in we grew up in Henry County, so not too far away from there. Right. So yeah. Lots of people asking about updates on Raiders, Nighthawks. Uh, we just like I said, we just got the nickel bore unfinished on the Hawks. We actually have the black on black sheets in for the Hawks, so we're probably gonna send the first fifty of those out this week. I think we were building them out Thursday and Friday. So as we get sheath done as we get stuff back from nickel boron we're just sending them um the raiders i haven't started those yet we're wrapping up v3s right now and then we're going to move into raiders and strikers and that will that'll put us having started everything that was in the january drop and there's not a ton of raiders and strikers that we sold, I think I sold like 150 on the January drop, but there will be more on the April 1st drop. So some people are going to have some heartburn about that. Well, I ordered one in January. Now you're releasing them again. It's because, you know, we added two machines this year. So I had no idea what rate we can put the blades out. And I'm still, I'm actually more picky now than I was when I started. So I'm producing way more than we sold 
we're getting some comments like some people say and let people stay in and other people saying they don't think that more than one that a person could should win more than one giveaway ever in lifetime well he just said by doing this we'll give those who cannot afford a blade a better chance of winning a blade <clears throat> that's what i meant oh okay yeah that makes sense um, i mean the piranhas are still shipping we wanted to wait until we were yeah. finished with the new sheath. If you want it now, we can go. Yeah, ahead and I've got now, old sheaths. We have the old sheaths. So. And the new one, I don't even have a sheath in here. It's in the in the shop outside of the bunker. But um, I I've never been super happy with the retention on the piranha, but I was not willing to make concessions on the handle just to make it fit in a sheath better. So. We figured out how to get retention. I'm going to have to make the sheath taller. We're going to go wider, put the micro rivets in it. So it'll have this little extra stuff here on the side on the piranha too. So, and it's going to be taller there. So it'll click in hard and hold and lock it. But that takes time because we have to make a new mold because we use aluminum molds for our sheaths and aluminum is effing expensive right now and then isolating a machine that does work for putting out the blades you're asking about to make a mold stops blade production so that's part of the reason we did the three to six months on stuff so that we could get all of these upgrades done to the existing stuff and Ben Simon said, stuff. would you ever create a leather sheath for Piranha? That's interesting because you were just talking to Umberto so, about the leather sheath. Right. Guy. So Umberto found a guy in Michigan that makes these leather sheaths that look to be incredibly good quality. We have tried for a long time to find an American-made sheath maker that would make stuff for our blades. Typically, they're stupid expensive or, you know, it's like me. You get to a point. No, Sue, I love the cat. Sue said she'd take the cat if we get tired of it. He's just <laughs> messing around. He loves that cat. I do. That, that cat, cat loves in me his too. lap every night like a little baby. I know. It like I do like the cat. Um, <laughs> he doesn't really think he's a furry stupid. I do think he's a furry stupid, but I still like him. <laughs> um, you stupid. Sorry, I interrupted you. I don't care. This whole show is too. me and you interrupting each other because that's our life, <laughs> and we just don't get mad. We're just like. Okay, cool. Let's start over. I don't care at all. I love my wife way more than me. So if she wants to say stuff, she can say stuff. And you guys have to listen because we're in control of the microphones over here. Uh, um, Casey Curtis wants to know how me or you carry the piranha. I like the piranha. I have mine in my purse, but. Yeah, I liked it right here. Yeah, he pocket carries it. I pocket carry because it's, it's smaller. And then for a while, that sheath, I would carry it. In this little pocket in my little yellow birch outfitters thing, I would stick it right there. I actually I like don't have my blade. piranha anymore. I need another one. I gave yeah. it to Eric. Hip. Yep. At Blade Show. Yeah. Yeah. And I still need to get him piranhas too. That's been like two years. Mr. Ed says, I can't remember. Did you make any changes to the Raider like the combatant? Yeah. So I'll show you. Where's my Raider? I moved stuff around because I was putting shelves up. Yeah, oh. everybody's talking about the Discord. The Discord's cool. If y'all like kind of how the lives go where everybody's just kind of chatting, it's it's a lot more user-friendly over there than Patreon for that so kind of thing. I just added more rounding here to the Raider. That's it. I mean, it's you know still got that heavier swedge, but just a little bit more ring rounding in there, and then it's going to have that new style sheath. Sam 205 JP. So Night Stalker CG were available in ABL on January 1st. When I ordered mine, I could only choose ADC RV2. It probably was sold. Yeah, it sold out. out already. Yeah, by the time you got to them, they probably sold out because there were. I do believe that there will be more of those also on the April 1 drop. However, I'm trying to get further into what was ordered January before we re-release. Were you, um, don't show your, somebody said, be careful with what you're showing on your belt. I don't know how you're carrying today. So I, maybe I'm IWB, you know. but this is all I'm carrying on my belt is my Night Stalker. Can you carry a piranha behind your belt? 
Yeah, I mean, if you did the 2.1U, you could tighten that one screw down and tuck it in. I mean, the whole thing, all in itself, without the sheath, I mean, it's it's little. I don't want to cut myself. But hey, Alex, we just talked about that. We haven't shipped them yet because we are trying to, we're doing the new sheath. We can go ahead and ship it with the current yeah, sheath. Yeah, if you want the old sheath now, you can get it. I mean, we but, have we have shipped some like that, but Tim, he's... And some of you guys, when you get those... You're going to be like, um, the retention seems really low on this. We can send a new sheath when they get. <clears throat> yeah, it's just money. We just. <laughs> no, we will, though. We always do that. It's Tim like we owe one to Sue. To buy your Can't sell that thing, man. There's all kind of Hebrew stuff on there. And then it's got those special screws that Don Mitchum, patron made. Um, Any jimping on the Raider for the update? No. Should I? Hey, did you bring those? Sorry, it just when well, he said jimping, then I thought about serration, and then I remembered those models. I thought the, I showed those last week, didn't I? No, you only showed a picture. You didn't show the actual model. Oh, crap. Did you not bring them? I think I left them at the office. Are you furry stupid. I know. You Gosh. guys are sitting without my shirt. I epitomize furry stupid. You should have brought those. They're so much better Like when you can see the actual Man, model. did I really not do that? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you. You can. <laughs> this is totally... Rob says, speaking of sheaths, my new sheath for the screwdriver is awesome. Great job, guys. Yeah, thanks, Rob. I I, I asked him. He texted me about that. Um, said, somebody said they tried to carry the Night Soccer IWB but couldn't find a good clip. What's a good clip for that that we have? I use the 2.1. I like the The 2. DCC 2.1 would work well for that. Yeah, because – or you could start doing a static line. Chad wants to know if he orders the the lashing screws, will they come in black now? Yes. Well, you got to ask. Hey, one eye Egyptians, Brandon Maples. Did you eat some? <laughs> He's making them. Did you tell him how, or he just already knew? Like, this wasn't okay. proprietary. He's the to one you? person that acknowledged my one eye Egyptians. John, John Hoffman what? said the cat was looking for his relatives in the jerky box. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Funny. Tasty. We kitty. do have suspender, Scott. Are they showing out of stock on the website? Hopefully we... Man, I just got like 400 of those finished. They should be. I, I saw an order for 1.75 DCCs and regulars today. <laughs> Chris B, try carrying the Night Soccer with static line from belt loop to IWB. That makes me think of Pecker. What'd you call it? <laughs> Pecker. <laughs> what was it? I was talking to Emery on the phone the other day, and I told him that I was going to change and make a, a meat-colored... CG because that's how he carries his, and I was going to name it Pecker Pink. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, it's just no, it's funny because of the way he carries it, it looks like it's yeah, precarious. And everybody on that stupid short he did at Blade Show when he's at the booth was like, You're gonna cut your wiener off, yeah, because you know it's not in a sheath, freaking doofuses. <laughs> but anyway, I told him in honor that I was going to name it, you know, we're going to Cerakote it meat colored and call it pecker pink and so you don't have those models because those are so cool uh, uh no oh, we'll send daughter down to the office to get them yeah she won't do that <laughs> i think on my desk i mean look i could drive down to the office oh here's a fun question Who are, there, the... are there any knife makers that impressed him um sure i know you you really like Mara phone his design. Yeah, man. I mean, I do like a lot of Anthony's freaking OTFs. I'm trying to think of who I've heard you say. I, I do. I just can't with. off the top of my head. Um, I know when I see him, I really like that Riot freaking gravity Karama. Well, what about like a maker, like another? Um, not like a big company, but like... I'm trying to think of the blades that I hover over and almost buy all the time. I always hesitate to do that because it's going to come up as TKL Knives or they know who I am, you know? I don't want to think I'm buying their crap to rip it off. I genuinely like their stuff. I do like some of Compliance Edge's stuff. I've said that before. Um, but some of his stuff is similar enough to mine where, you know... Um, if you didn't ask me, I'd be able to. You say. said you thought tour stuff was cool the other day. I do like some of tour stuff. He's a marine too. Um, what about Winkler? People are asking. You know, I've never had one. 
You'd like Winkler as a person. You, I love you Danny. Talk to him a few or Daniel. Times. I wonder if he. Anyway, I do like Daniel. Winkler. I don't think you've ever handled a Winkler. I've never held one. Um, a guy who used to do some sharpening for me bought one at Blade Show a couple years ago, and he had always wanted one. I should probably pick one up. Again, though, he'll probably be like, he's trying to steal my stuff. Bill Billy said William Collins question mark, and Stuart said Hinderer question mark. I don't think you've had any of those. I don't. I've never heard of Collins, and I should. I've get... heard of that because that that boy that I talked to on that short, he had. Remember that knife? He said William Collins. Yeah, I know all of his songs. What is this a singer's name too? Phil. Bill Collins? <laughs> William Collins. I can feel it. Anyway, great. Murdoch's crew, $50. Hashtag TKL Knives for all donation. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah, so we'll put that in the... Uh, what the, about Medford? I've never seen his stuff. I have talked with Greg. I do know a couple of his people bought my blades at Blade Show, and they're all like ninja about it. Um, Lots of people love their Winklers. William Collins is a USAF vet. I like that knife that that boy showed on that video. Why do I not remember knife. this? You know, he goes, William Collins, A.E. Steel, the quieter one, not the not the smart-ass one. No. And I, and I was dumb and said, is that a buoy? Oh, <laughs> yes. Now I know. Um, Hornbeak, whatever that freaking Hornbeak that DeMarco showed on his little short last week, that one I liked a lot. I was like, man, that's a good-looking blade. And who did... Bob DeMarco do that collab with a oh, little tooth? clip. Yes, I want one of those freaking. Sean Martin just said that too. Hog I tooth. want one of those hog tooths that Bob DeMarco did with that little clip, Bowie. That is a cool freaking blade. That's one that I hover over all the time. I'm like, man. Um, somebody said Stuart said Dawson also rocks. We've heard good things. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, I've never handled their stuff. Here's the thing. So, a lot of you guys know. I like firearms, potentially. And I I needed blades, but I didn't like knives until I started making my own and then realized that there's other people catering blades to actual use. All my only experiences were like Bass Pro Shop and, and Walmart. I had no idea there was this huge thing. And then now I'm becoming a knife guy. So I will take a lot of suggestions because. There's some stuff that I really do want to get. That's why you started to see this year people either given me or I've picked up on my own. Will B has one of Bob's noble ones. That's the one you said you liked. You yeah, like I liked it? it too. That's a cool looking it's, uh, And I handled Bob's at Blade Show last year. I was like, man, I like this thing a lot. Like I, I'm going to, I'm going to get one. Um, This guy made a little cool knife. Remember this? I flipped out over this thing at the, uh, Georgia Bushcraft. Yep. Knowlton Knives. I think he's a Georgia guy, right? Yeah, he's not very known. He's, I guess he's not really pushing. I like himself. this one. I don't think he has very many followers, but he's got some good stuff. I did like this Knowlton. It's just, I told him. He had like one or two of these on the table. I was like, man. But hey, I love Stewart said the Piranha was named top 20 EDC fixed on uh, Stasa 22. Yeah, Stasa. I saw that. Did you tell me that? Somebody told me that on. Uh... Wait, is YouTube freezing for anybody else? Miss Toll just said it's freezing. Uh oh. Let us know. Or we or or do we get booted? Are we gone? Let me see if I'm getting any Patreon comments that said we got booted because I pulled my knife out. I don't think we've gotten booted, but. Um... Well, I don't see anybody saying that. Is it freezing, y'all? Cool, Bob DeMarco just answered my question about... Nobody, okay, it's not freezing. Get decent service, Lee. Gosh. I don't know, Fish Ranch said it froze. Using, I guess it just depends on... Using dial-up? Casey Shelton said it did. Oh, people are, people are saying it's freezing. Is it ours? Well, we have, we have fiber. Are they throttling our stupid stuff again? I don't know. I don't like the commies. Can you say that? You can't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say anything about that at all. But do we have enough people on here to chat about the thumbnail? I'm always nervous. Yeah, I think so. We got 168 people on. Maple said it's uh, 
freezing up. That's weird. I don't know, because a lot of people say and it's fine. It's a bit framey, but not that bad. I wonder if that's this camera. Yeah, I, that's need, actually why I was, I was texting another camera. Bob DeMarco this morning. You know, like when we got this camera, it was top of budget. Okay, so uh, Pete said it's 90 to 10 on freezing, so you're good. You know, I mean, I'm watching videos half the time it does anyway. So we want to talk about this folder. Susie Dawson running slow for some. They need to make some Turkish coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to end up doing that today because I was told to be very cautious with this Death Wish coffee. And I think CW hid it from me anyway. I don't know what happened to it. Did you hide it? Another good maker is TJ Swartz. Never heard of them. Have you, honey? No. TJ Swartz? Here's the thing. Like, I get so busy. All right. Anderson said it's not freezing for him either. Um, oh, yeah. Bastinelli does have some cool looking stuff. Yes. That's one. I do look at his stuff a lot. We've never, we've never like, well, actually, I did held some of his stuff at uh, one of the shows. Okay. So let's look at this. I don't know what generation this one was. Is, are we in focus? First of all, let's have a moment of silence for the folder. Because it's going to die. <laughs> no, because it's been such a pain in the ass. It's huge and pain in the... All right, so... <laughs> all right, is it in focus? Yeah. See this? It's locked. It won't open, right? This is what happens when you've never made a folder and you don't know how to... So you got to push the button to open it. So here is the latest iteration. So they're twins, same blade. Look at this. <laughs> and watch... So it's roller bearings now well, instead of, little. watch this. Oh my God. It's so smooth. I mean, it's like lightning fast and it won't flip open this way on accident. You got to flip the flipper, but you hear that lock up super big pin on the back and it's got roller bearings. So it's like crazy smooth. I mean, it is so smooth. And then um, we went with a 420 higher carbon on the clip to give it more spring. And we couldn't do the lashing screws size holes through it because they weren't strong enough. So there they are. Little twinsies. This one didn't get nickel boron yet. Um, so, and then we changed the direction. On the Mini G10. mercenary. Right. See the M2? Mini mercenary. That's what he stands for, right? Um, also, I didn't like the button sticks up too high, so we're going to make it flush, and then we're going to go with all black hardware. I mean, it's so good. It is, And I was blown away by the quality. It looks heavy-duty like a hinderer from Bill Armstrong. Yeah, so... There's no rattle in this thing, and I beat the piss out of this personal one with a rawhide mallet because I didn't want to, but, and I couldn't get the lock to fail, and then I beat the shit out of it with a, excuse me, with a rubber mallet and still didn't get it to fail. But what we were missing, I don't know if you can see, you have to file each one of these to get this lock. Probably have don't no care in the world, or, or and you don't People can't are liking it. this folder, honey. So... All right, let's talk about this folder, okay? So, we tried five people, my team, four other teams, to get this stupid blade made, and nobody could get it because I think weird about stuff, and, oh, look at this. If you go upside down, it'll do it. Sorry, I get distracted. I've been flipping with this thing. I got it Monday. So... This blade that you see here, how do you say made in Vietnam and Vietnamese? How do you say that? How do you say, what the F are we going to do? So here it is. The strongest knife that I've seen in a folder. Incredible quality. Not made in the United States. So we might as well put the bitch back on the shelf. Because... I can't find anybody to do it. 
So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Anybody? I mean, I'm sure she'll read me some comments because I have no idea what to do. None. Because the plan was to get this engineering team to help us get the button ironed out, get the engineering plans, and start making the stuff. Here's where the problem comes in. You can't take the inner workings from any knife and not hand file the stupid lock on the back of the blade. So we can make all of the parts. We obviously have the capability, but I don't know how to do the filing and all that crap. So I've taken this apart 18 million times. So what are you seeing over there, C Dub? Um, all of us T Kellyans can come together and help. Keep buying USA products. Hogue question mark. I don't know what that means. Um, are they make Hogue, I think, must make USA folders. Well, that, now here's the thing. So there are fol folder makers out there in the U.S. Hogue apparently, um, Cold Steel. Don't they make their stuff in the U.S.? Uh, Medford, but they're not going to make my blade. So the price to get the different type of shit that I need to make this in my facility in the United States is about a half a million dollars that I don't have. <laughs> I mean, it is incredible. Hug does OEM work, will be, says. Okay. Yeah. I I think that there's a lot of people maybe saying that they're doing it in the US, but they're probably getting it made overseas. Yeah, so we did have some people. We didn't I didn't reach out to Hogue at all, but I did reach out to some American made folder companies about this project. What is it going on three years now? Yeah. And they said, we just want to let you know that there are portions of this that will be made here, but most of the parts are going to be made overseas, but we will assemble them here for you. To be a USA made knife, it has to have 51% USA made products. And I'm like, I can't do that. So now we have a working prototype, five of them to be exact, that I'm effing in love with, VG10 steel that I cut nails with and will shave your effing arm. Dimensionally identical. They knocked it out of the park. I was not surprised that they were able to do it. What I was surprised by was the price because their instructions were help us engineer this here's our drawings what are we missing and it was that the filing part that we're missing so i don't know i have no clue on earth what to do do we you know vietnam is a non-communist country do we make a run in Vietnam, put our blades in them and sell those to fundraise like a Kickstarter? Do we do that so that I can buy the equipment and hire the staff to make them in the States? Or do we just scrap the whole thing? Scrap the whole thing. Because you're not going to sell them from, you're not going to sell them as a TKL made in the USA. Yeah, no, there's no way. That's just not even a possibility. And if they're made in China, there's no possibility at all that I would even sell them. So what are you going to do? You know, I've had I've had uh, people that I talked to that I really trust. I look, man, Vietnam is an ally of ours. They're non-communist. We save their anuses, Vietnam War, whatever. They go to war with us when China. Yeah, I, I understand all that. But what are we going to do? We're gonna do about the fall. I was so pissed that it was this good. So pissed. Because <laughs> I was like, you guys are supposed to make the lock. But holy crap is your quality. I've given this blade to people that buy three and four hundred dollar knives, and they're like, this is easily a two fifty, three hundred dollar knife. Easy. I mean, high end material all the way through the board. So what are you seeing over there, comment-wise? I'm seeing, like, some people saying... Because um, what we, you know, I mean, what are we going to... What are we? A lot of people are saying don't do it until you can do it in the U.S. 
And a lot of people are saying just stick to your fixed blades. Yeah, and that's kind of where it looks like we're leaning. And do we do? How do we fundraise to get them made in the U.S.? How do you do that? You know, are you guys going to donate donate a half million dollars? Because our margins are thin. We can't just store away half million. I would say that the majority of what people are saying is um, stay all American made. Let me see. U.S. only products, U.S. only labor. Yeah, so, I mean. That would be the best folder on the market, just like your fixed blades. Got to be made in the U.S.A., though. Yeah, so it sounds like we just were scrapping the folder project because now we know it can be done. We yeah, just, if we do it, we'd have to fundraise. Yeah. Because there's no way. Yeah, I mean, the only way to do it would be to fundraise. And the only thing I thought about was, you know, do we launch them on Patreon and say there's 500 of these available made in Vietnam and 150 bucks, you get a knife to provide feedback on that you know is made over there for us to F and build it here at the fundraiser. You get this cool thing to play with and give feedback on like a working prototype model. Or is that just like egregious as hell to even, you know, because we can't pre-sell something that's taken us three years. We just can't do that. You know, the design is, I, I mean, it's what we built. Kickstarter. Well, that would be a Kickstarter, you know. But you Roz get... said he'd do it. Send me the 150 invoice. Lots of people USA made or not at all. Um, not, Pete say we have 903, 903 patrons. That's $554 a person. Give it time. It takes six months to. Okay. Lots of comments coming in. Six months to, or try three years. <laughs> you know, I mean, so that's where we're at with that, you know, you know, and there's, I know the names of the companies that this company is making $300 folders for. I know the names. Three of them are USA made folders. One of them is a USA OEM factory that will make your folder for you. However, in Vietnam. Interesting, right? Disheartening as hell. So there's some serious dishonesty out there. Yeah, but you would never. No would way. No that. effing way. He's straight up on everything with y'all. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to just. There's been enough people that, well, you guys have seen our shop. You've been in the shop. All of our crap is made here from American made products. Will be everyone owns things made overseas. I don't draw the line at knives. I prefer USA, but I'll buy from wherever if I like it and the quality is good. I feel like that is what the lion's share of people truly feel. You know, like. Hold on, let me read for a cosmic. I don't really get the pushback on this. Making it affordably at first so you can eventually make it at home isn't a problem. It's not like you're hiding it. That's kind of what I thought, but it, it sounds like. You know, like if you disclose, I mean, I would never disclose the information that I got, whose stuff they're making. But, you know. And then there, there, there's a lot of people that are like, yeah, just make it all in the United States. Yes, that's what, that's the goal, right? That's the plan to get the thing made in the States. But damn. We had one guy that said successfully, yes, I can do this for you, but it will cost you to buy it from me 500 bucks. And I'm like, nobody's going to pay. Nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to do that. You know what I mean? Like Sam 205 JP, I think you should sell a certain amount so that you can make them yourself. That was the idea that I had, you know? And look. And then Lyndon said, put it on the back burner for now. Stick to your views on USA Made. Yeah, I mean, it's been on the back burner for three years. But everybody every week asks about it. So, you know, we always bring it, bring it up. What I thought we were going to get is a bag full of parts in an assembly video. On um, here's this, here's that, here's that. 
But basically what they did was, hey, we're making blades for these companies. Here's the proof. Here's their blades that we made. We will make the, the, you know, so effectively we'd be buying button, backbone, spring, bearings from this company. And we would make blades, G10, oh, and the clip. So I'm wondering these other manufacturers, when they buy their screws and bearings and steel that's stamped out for their liners, are they buying them from Vietnam, China, somewhere else? Taiwan. I mean, you know how hard it was for me to find effing screws for my sheaths that were made in the United States? Damn near impossible. And then you would go somewhere and say, okay, I want this screw. You're a USA made screw maker. I went to every USA screw maker in the fucking planet to make my lashing screws. And they said, yeah, absolutely. We'll make them for you. But they'll be made in China. And I'm like, you're an American company. Oh, no. Our manufacturing Man, is, this is, is over so there. down the middle. I mean, you've got some people like do it for, you know, and with the eventual goal. And a lot of people are like, no, that's not what you're about. Yeah. And see, for us, it's not a, it's never been a money thing for us. So honestly, it's more headache to release a new knife and not just continue to push our existing blades. There is a huge swath of people that would like to buy our blades at a high quality at half the price. And there's no way to do that unless we take millions of dollars worth of investment. Well, I don't, I don't think you can, not in the States. So that's why our production is kind of capped where it is. Would we love to be able to put a fixed blade knife on the kit of every American soldier that can't afford to buy F and rent outside of living on base and they're going out there taking bullets. Yeah, of course we'd love to do that, but we can't. So we feel that whole, I would love one of your heirloom quality blades. I just can't afford to buy something. And then they'll send us messages like, you know, it's not really fair that the stuff that we depend our lives on, we're defending our families with, we're defending our country with, we can't afford decent stuff. I'm like, I get it, man. And trust me, we're not in retail because my margins are half of what a lot of the industry is because I'm anal about doing the stuff here. So for us, we just want to pay the bills and pay our employees a living wage and not get in trouble for evading taxes. That's our goal. And we're doing that. Hey, Ed. Ed Barkley just wanted to hop on and say hi. Hello, sir. Um, I'd like to get back to Anthony Chioffi's comment, but I lost it. And it basically said something like, don't spread yourself too thin. Yeah. Stick to fixed blades. Why do you want to get into the folder game? Well, I do and there's like a folders. lot of people saying stick to fixed blades. Yeah, I do love. I like folders, too. I mean, I have some. And... The, the M2 came about from a question from a military contract. So Ryan Henley says he thinks that people will be scared if, I'm paraphrasing what he said, but basically like if you start doing this overseas, just, you know, the prototype or whatever, that eventually you'll just start doing everything overseas. No, I mean, you got to look at models like, um, who is that? Like Spartan, for example. They have a platinum line. They, they use all their American employees, American made materials, and they make those still in North Carolina. I, I, I've talked to those guys before. And then a big portion of their company is owned by parent company Cutco, uh, K Bar. So their lower price stuff of the same models, they just basically let K Bar Cutco. So, okay. And they get, you know, they approve, disapprove, whatever. And I'm not saying this is what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what a, a model that some other people have done. So basically they say, all right, if you want all American, I'm still making them. My little small team is still making them. They're going to take how long they take. They're going to cost what they cost, but you can put your money where your mouth is and you can buy our USA made stuff. If you want an EDC quality blade and not a battle quality blade, 
go to Knife Center and buy that stuff. You want the stuff that my heart and soul is behind? Buy it from my website. They've been very honest about that and they've done it. So that's one company that is doing that. Ad and Libre do a test run of a certain number of knives and put them up for sale with the known fact that they're not USA made and see what you come up with. I mean, I, the, the thing is, I think price point wise, if you were to do that, okay, here's what made me really mad. And CW can. We're on a live with TKL and not live with Spartan because we love what you do. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm doing that. I'm just giving that as an example. So, um, do a small batch run for your patrons at a higher price to cover costs. Yeah, I mean that that's that that was an idea to get feedback, change in the locks, test out the buttons, test the clips, test the design, all that. But you know, if there's pushback on it, I really don't give a crap about bringing this folder to market at all. It's it's for the people that really want us to do it. Um, but what made me the most mad about it was the quality of this at the price they can make it for it with VG10 steel, which is a very, very good. I tested it on my Rockwell tester. It came in at a 64, and it is like a effing laser, and I beat the crap out of it. So I know what they cost. Because they quoted me on the cost. And I know the companies that they are making for that are American made. And I know what they're charging. And that made me sick. Because now I actually know what you're paying for this high quality knife and what you're charging. And it, CW can tell you for the whole day. He was like depressed about it. I was like, we can't compete with this. We, I mean, and she knows, I was like, look at the quality of this. You put the quality up against my stuff side by each, and I'm telling you it's the same. And I'm not just saying that. It made me so upset. Like the, the names of the companies have become curse words in this house because I know who you are now. And I'm like... Now you I know. I can't believe they just told you that too. Shouldn't they have like some kind of loyalty? Well, here's what they did. They showed these blades without logos. So these blades are coming back over to the States and getting repackaged and logoed. We haven't done a giveaway yet. We're an hour in. Because we're like ranting about <laughs> this. It's crazy though. It's split. It's split down the middle. It's half and half. Yeah. It's like well, half I mean, of people saying don't do it and half of people saying use it for funding the project. Yeah. I mean, if we did it at all, at all, it would be to fund. It's not like we're going to start manufacturing our stuff in Vietnam. I mean, I've got employees. We've got a, a, a thriving business here in Northwest Georgia where we... There are a lot of people that count on us to continue doing what we're doing to survive. So I would never stop that. One, what the hell would I do with myself? Stand here and talk. I mean, I'm going to make knives. As long as I am physically able to, I'm making them here with my team in America with American-made materials. That's where we're at. Now, if we want to do a fundraiser thing, my name's Paul. And that's between y'all. I say that all the time. But, you know, that's that's the thing. Like, we did get the news on the folder. Not exactly what I wanted. Here's a bag of parts and here's the engineering drawing so you guys can machine them yourself. It was, okay, here's how they'll go together. Take this apart. Um, but keep in mind, if you're going to put your own blade in here, you're going to have to do this, this, and this. And handle A can't go with blade C. And they'll never work. So you're going to have to teach yourself. So that's what we missed. Filing that thing at a freaking angle so that that lock will drop into that slot. Because you can't conically machine a slot like this to make the button drop in that's got spring pressure to keep pushing down as that thing wears. You know. I mean, I guess you go with a fifth axis within the price of your freaking. Would y'all want me to give nuts. away a piranha blim that has the old sheath? Yeah, since we got we a have, bunch of the old sheaths. We have sheaths. some laying around. Yeah. I want that. 
It sounds like we're going to have to take a poll or just. I think we're going to have to take a poll because and leave. Well, I mean, somebody said you're not going to be able to make everybody happy, but. No, I know that. I mean, for me, it's. I'm not going to do what some of these people are doing and, and make the blade in another place and say, I'm making it here. That's effing deplorable. So yeah. I don't even, here's the thing. I don't even feel like we have to do it at all. I just don't. I mean, yeah, I guess it's a, a, how much, how many of you are actually interested in it? Yeah. That, that, that's going to be, you know, question alpha and then B, are you, are you willing to give me extra money to exploratorily research? I even talked to my head machinist. I mean, what, do, what do we need? And he's like, to make these parts? I need a new building and I need a half million dollars worth of machines. And I'm like, you are effing kidding me. He goes, no, I'm not kidding you. And then he goes, Tim, who's going to put these together? You got a team of five people, three of which have my last name. <laughs> so what? who's going to fit these things? <laughs> so I was like, I don't know, man. He goes, I'm not. I work for you, bro. I'm, you know, I do only your work. I'm not going to bring people in here to build your Gray shit. Wolf photography, $10. Thank you for getting my night soccer CQC back sharper than ever. Excellent customer service or support. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thanks. That's something we have to do. Like, you know, when we say lifetime sharpening, lifetime warranty, we have to, we have to stand behind that. Right. But anyway, I mean, I don't know. You're looking at hiring five more people that would be building what we make here. Um, and you certainly aren't making any more money. Hashtag USA for the Piranha, Piranha giveaway. Yeah. Uh. It's going to have the older sheath and it probably will be ADCRV2 slightly blemished. I think that stupid product light on the top of that thing. I see these purple squares all the time. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we'll take a poll. We'll do like a. We need to do where we can get a percentage of. I mean, I think for me personally, on the other side of it, I, I make a lot of efforts to buy USA made stuff. I mean. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, like a lot. There's some things I got to cosmic man. I do not understand the issue people have here. I lost your lost it. Lost it. Lost yeah. I mean, that that's, that's what was 50%. So, you know, and, and you know, a lot of it, we can just be honest. Most of you that are saying USA made are sending your messages on a communist Chinese made phone or computer or wireless router, or, you know, you can really get into all that. Um, this broadcast certainly wouldn't happen without um, Chinese lighting and cameras and computers. Well, I mean, I'm with that. you behind the scenes, and I know how important it is to you. I spend way more money buying American-made stuff. Way Eagle more. 59 says, I think you're creating a huge headache getting into folders. Uh, yeah. Oh, I it's mean, been a giant. I have always <laughs> thought he needed to just stay with the fixed blades. Yep. Um, but, you know. We get so it, many people ask. There's a lot of people interested. At least. I wanted to explore it. I know my design works. That's good. I know that the, I mean, we'll look at it. Let's look at it. Let's grab a mercenary. I mean, the jimping's the same. The handle. Hey, Jimbo. How are you doing? The handle, look, dimensionally identical. One of the things that caused so much headache was making both of them the same thickness because they feel good in the hand. You've got the head knockers. So, and look at the, the profile. It literally is exactly what the mini mercenary. And then here's the non-functional <laughs> USA. Same damn thing. Hardware is different. Buttons different. And uh, that's it. And this one's nickel boron because, you know, now that, that I know how they fixed this other one, I could probably go in here and file this thing to work. Maybe. But anyway. You could just, like, make a few and charge a whole bunch of money for them. 
in the U.S. But here's the thing, fan. though. It. It's like I was talking to Jeremy. If I pulled him to start dicking around with these folders, and he may be on here, he may not. He'll pipe up if he is. In the time that he can make a hundred of these folders, we can make a thousand other blades and get out from under this damn pre-order situation. I mean, look at that. Rainier Schroeder says, keep making your blades in the U.S. Nobody makes fixed blades like you. Yeah. Well, we're not even questioning fixed blades, by the way. Small batch run for your Patreon from Adam Kiwi. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll put up a thing this week on Patreon. Would you guys want a Vietnamese made knife? We got choices of VG10 and D2. Those are their two high end steels. Megan Smith, Stay American Made. It's one of the factors that make you guys so great. I yeah. respect that. Yeah, that's 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 what's been the conundrum with the whole thing. Look, I know for a fact what it would cost. Stephen Clayton says I don't have an issue with the one that you consider to be non functional. Yeah, I do <laughs> because I hate the, the 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 speed of deployment in a in a knife that you have to push a button to unlock. I, I just if it didn't, you know, because what you have to do is push this button in and then defeat it and then open it. But she's pretty. But I've got one of three. And see, Dub has. Yeah, I mean, it, if y'all aren't interested in it, there's no reason. Trust for me, to... I don't want to deal with a headache. If you guys want to fundraise, I know you like it. You're really impressed with oh, it. Oh hell yeah, I'm gonna carry it. I have no qualms about carrying this Vietnamese man. I mean, I've been to Vietnam, so I know they're not communists there. But I'm gonna carry this one because I designed it, and I like it, and the the quality is super high. And the guys in my shop are like, oh, what well, one? Well, I'm like, trust me, the, the, the cost that we have sunk into this folder, we could buy a brand new truck. Brand new, not used, brand new truck. So I'm like, man, <laughs> this is it for me. That's why. She, A lot you know, of people are saying USA made is why they're here. Yeah. So there you go. That's what we needed to know. Do you want a folder? Buy it from Hinderer. Because <laughs> I just, I can't do it. Well, I'm not, that's not what everybody is saying. I'm saying that some people are saying that, but you've got other people saying do it. So, yeah, we'll pull. We'll take a poll. That's it. We'll take a poll. You know, I, when I was talking to the guys at Spartan, they had that same wrestling for years and years and years. And he said, the only way I could stomach it was to continue making as many as I was making in the United States and quiet the people that were complaining about our prices that wanted our blades for a different price. So we make just as many as we always have the same way we always did. Well, I get States. a lot of emails. There's, there's been some emails about like doing the EDC line. A lot of people asking for that. Got a recommendation to mount on the outside of, oh, I missed it. Molly? <laughs> I missed it. And then some people said like if it's going to slow down your, fault, your fixed blade schedule and kind of pull you in that direction, they'd rather you just come out with more fixed blades. Well, we are. This year is the year of the fixed blade for us, man. And that's the thing. The only way we could get this done is to... Outsource. Emerson is my favorite folder. Is Emerson all USA made? My favorite folder is the taco from Raimundo. Mm, Raimundo we had tacos Mexico. yesterday, yeah. man. Yeah. Man. Those are good. My handmade tortillas and the whole lot. I like going to places when they look at you and they have to speak to you in broken English and they're shocked to see a white person standing there ordering stuff. I love doing that. That's like my favorite thing. Just because All right, I, I like culture food. Last few entries. Um, Hashtag USA. Completely uncaffeinated. This is not Why working for me. Why you coffee? You want to make Turk coffee? I don't even know. I don't even know if I have any down here. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I do. To even make for myself. I have all the accoutrements. But I don't think I have. No, I think I'm out. Well, I got coffee. I just don't have sugar. That would be pretty gross, right? Oh, you don't have sugar down here? 
Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll let this go a little longer because there's still a bunch of y'all entering. So people, we'll let people, it go a few more minutes. People, people angry about our prototype? Um, I don't know if I've seen any anger. I just, you know, lots of people just giving their opinions on it. I talked to a dude who's way up in the industry this week. And he goes, look, dude, you're going to have to face the fact that some of the best made folders in the world are made in Vietnam and Taiwan. They just are. He said, and if you want to get into that, the quality level of your fixed blades, he goes, I don't know that you'll do it here unless you build your own factory. And then you look at like a hinderer. Well, that's what Brenna Cosmic keeps saying. Use print. it to fund it and then be an OEM for like other USA companies. That Yeah. Isn't and, that what Medford does? I don't know that he... I know he built his own facilities because he got tired of this same No crap. need for anger. Tim is honest about everything. Yeah, y'all don't get mad. We just are, we're up front about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean. We want to know what you think. Yeah, I'm not going to. We're be not doing anything entering. behind anybody's back. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I talk too much. Yeah, we're here to serve y'all. And if it's not something that y'all want us to yeah. do, we're not going to do it. Yeah, I mean, we can't Wait, lower. We're here to serve you guys. Not you not y'all. Okay. You can say y'all. Y'all. I mean, you can say what all my family use. Yeah. How do you say the plural you if you don't say y'all? Use. You guys. Use. You all. Use guys. <laughs> you know they say in in uh, I did a project in Johnson City, Tennessee for uh, several years. They say youans. Medford makes a great folder as well, but pricey. The, oh yeah. I mean, I could make it here. But listen, we had a folder manufacturer, Josh L, $99.99 for lunch. Thanks, Thank bro. Thank you. I'm going to use it to buy a Vietnamese you. made knife. Utes, yeah. I've heard Utes, but I thought that was a uh, reference to young kids. I don't know. I was wrong about that. Anthony says uh, there are several areas of fixed blade that you could master. EDC, survival, bushcraft folders are not worth it. Yeah, see. I want to do EDC line of thinner stuff. I really, really want to do that. I would love to, like a thinner Raider, thinner combatant, thinner of everything, like EDC, non-combat grade stuff. Like I really, really would love to do oh, that. Oh, but let me tell you. So I was, what I was trying to say, this folder company, and this is not, this could be not true, but this place told us that they were making some of Medford stuff. Just saying. That's what he said. He could have been lying, but he said he was making this. It was like a Russian. Oh, yeah. That's plate, not the people that like, made this. They were like, we want to make your folder. Because here's what happened when Tim did that folder video. Like so many. Make, you would believe how many Chinese companies yep. reached out. Like, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Like for pennies. So there was, yes, there was a company that reached out early on. Saw you on YouTube. We want to make your folder for you. And they're in the U.S. I'm like, wow, that's awesome. And then we kind of talked through the process because we we cannot keep up with the fixed blade demand. So uh, my thing was, yeah, we'll make a folder. If we can figure out how to get it made in the States and it doesn't detract from the rest of our stuff and we can increase production on our fixed blade hey, stuff. Hey, Vicky, did you see the little, um, sorry, she was just saying smaller grip knives for women with small hands, self-defense, easy to conceal. Did you see the little neck knife we designed? The visceral? I don't know if you were on then. It's in process too. All right, I'm going to do the drawing, y'all. Still people entering, but we're going to go anyway, ahead and do it. This dude, in his heavy Russian accent, said that they were making stuff for them. And I'm like, oh, I don't know about that crap. I don't know. It, it probably was being dishonest with me to get my business. No, why would he have specifically said that? I don't know. I certainly wasn't going to divulge any of that crap. M. Shan won. M. Shan won. You won a piranha. Congratulations. You can email us and we'll get you squared away. Yeah, we'll get taken care of. I may do another piranha. Yeah, because we're working through those. Because we have now. a couple of those. Yep. So I have I have a a night stalker and an FLN put on my desk so far for the giveaway that I'm gonna do for the people that can't afford. Yeah. 
and we may yeah guys sorry that. we've been slow on responding on that and some of the other stuff we like we had a sick kid this week so you know that that takes precedent and then knives still have to be made in the background too so yeah so can you show the little neck knife because she didn't get to see it you have it's, it here it's probably at the office uh, you're so unprepared well i didn't know that people were going to ask for that where's my sketchbook I'm just bummed you don't have those daggers. Those things are yeah, so awesome. Yeah, let me just double check. You I thought I showed them last week. You know you don't have it over there. He's leaving. You oh, know. here's a little neck knife. I'm going to go ahead and set up the next giveaway. We're going to do another piranha. All right, will you have the it? Blade show. Probably daggers. everything. I don't see the daggers. Hey, honey, what knives are we going to have at Blade show? Who the hell knows? <laughs> I mean, probably nothing. <laughs> we can't we can't seem to increase our production. What's a Taylor's Ridge? I probably don't want to know. Do you have a Taylor's Ridge over there? I we mean, do have an old one. An old one, not even from the. It's basically a thicker raider, like deeper belly, so it's taller. But this is an old one. A hand ground old one. So the new ones have the swedge and yeah, the I same mean, grip. Uh, to be honest, if it was up to me, I would probably say let's do a cheaper line mm -hmm. made in either Taiwan or Vietnam yep. for people that can't afford with full disclosure. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I know the, CW the do that. cheaper line we've made. We made them here only so that people that can't afford it. Can yeah, buy she would name it like C Dub or something. I'm serious. Yeah, and they would be under a hundred dollars. They'd be, you know, sixty to eighty. Mm -hmm. And look here, if I if I they, turned her loose, she would do that. hundred percent. And then you would continue making all your. And, and from her standpoint, that's a to help people out thing. Mm hmm. We get emails all the time about how much people want your blades. But, I mean, they'd still have to be great quality. We couldn't just sell crap. No, I mean, look, if, you, if you've if you seen some of the stuff that, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking. I need at... a slim blade option for my teenage girls, like a comfy, concealable self-defense blade. I carry the Night Stalker. It's a good all-around blade for anybody. Yeah, and the the, the Nightshade, the Warren Cliffs. Look, you look, you'll probably get more more response on your benevolent blade line. <laughs> <laughs> BB, that's it. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> CW's BB. So here it is. Yeah, we can call it CW's line. It's or EDC line or something. Do it. I don't know. That hey, maybe that idea just got created here on the live. Look at this. See that? How it fits in your fingers? Yeah, that's a I little think small you'd like knife. that, Vicky. It, it's awesome. We're going to do it in a bunch of different colors, too. Yeah, so we're going to really try to do a departure, you know, thin steel. I want to go with the stainless. I think she Suzanne wants to do just a, a AEBL, probably, because it's stainless steel, and she doesn't want to have to care for it, keep it oiled and all that stuff. And When will it be available? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've got the steel ordered. But there's there's two blades that I would very much like to see on the table at Blade Show. That one and the Agent 001. Will it happen? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Give Raymundo Espinosa some love and do his hashtag. Best folder is a taco. Hashtag best folder is a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're some taco-eating humans over here. But they got to be authentic. Just None get a batch of the about. Vietnam ones and see how they sell. Oh, I know how they sell. Me and you, we, 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 we're real talking. They'd sell like that. Especially you diehard patrons got a hold of them. Like, you'd be mad like me. You'd be like, how is the quality of this thing so good? <laughs> I'll let my head QC hey, dude thanks, Phil Billy. handle it first. And I was like, I want you to handle this knife and you tell me what you think. And he was like, whoa. This dude spends money on high-end folders. He spends money on them. 
And he's like, oh, it's got this and it's got that and like this and like that. And then I told him where it came from and what it cost. And he went, you're kidding. No, I think we could do new designs, but I think we could just take some of the current designs and make them thin and, you know, just a little bit more affordable. Are people actually considering this in the comments? Is that what? Well, I mean, a lot of people are saying don't do it, but then some people are saying do it. We're not talking about not doing Tim's current thing. This would be like... Hell no. My stuff. She'd do it too. I know she would. Yeah, I'm I'm the bad influence. Tim's always like... No, she's never told me not to make our stuff in the States, so let's get that straight. She just said, you know... And also from her end, she, she is like on the forefront of the millions of emails. You guys are always sold out. Well, what I get the I most and what really is stuff. the hardest every day. Either I can't afford it or you're always sold out. And, and there's people that want to buy it. And you're just like, I can't. I want to help you so bad. And I'm always getting rid of all our blooms. And I'm always trying mm -hmm. so hard to get everybody a blade. Scott, reach out to C-Dub. I, I, I keep forgetting. Or... or Suzanne, can you? What is it? He asked me nearly every day blemishes that we have, and um, I'll, I'll see his message. Who else thinks it would compromise our brand? Sue Farm Girl said basically, like, it's going to compromise your brand and for what return on investment. But here's the thing no, there's no return. We're you're not, not going to make more money. Yeah, we're not all. trying to make more money because you'd have to have more employees, that's more output. You'd be buying more material. You're not going to make any more money. You're not. Unless you do like some of these other companies do and you get your stuff made for pennies and you still sell it for premium American prices, which is deplorable. Then, you know, if you want to do that kind of crap, you'll make a lot of money. But you'll sell your soul to the devil and you won't be able to sleep at night and you'll be a piece of garbage. Uh, I am talking to those companies that do Wild that. Wild Bill is the are. gateway drug. LOL, going overseas always works that way. Yeah, I mean, it's... Lots of people said it would compromise the brand. Even if you still made your your core product here? I, I guess. I don't know. You know, I, I went back and forth with, with the guys at Spartan about the same thing, you know? Friend of Cosmic, I don't understand how it's damaging at all unless you lie about it. People are bullheaded about this. Yeah. But yeah. then you have stick to your guns, don't change. I can't believe you guys are even talking about selling out like that. Yeah. Who the fuck is talking about selling out? She just brought this up on the live. Maybe pay more attention. You'll see me get angry in a minute. I'll cut this <laughs> damn live stream in a half a second. When I'm being honest and open about it, mm -mm. I don't play that. I know you wouldn't say that in my house. Not to this face. Roz says I'd market the overseas blades under a different brand. Yeah, maybe I should just like do my own. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? Um, what's the Bradford? Isn't Bradford the wife the one that makes those? Yes, that is true. Of Larkin. Mm -hmm. Larkin Precision. Don't have anything to do with it. And his name is Brad. Sell the blemish blades at a reduced price and mark them in a way that you would know, so you would know it was a blemish to begin with. Yeah, that's a good idea. We do need to do that because um, we get them back and they're still under warranty, though. C dub folders. There must be a lot of garbage getting talked. Why? Because Pete's sakes, like, I'm getting effing angry for you right now. <laughs> because, I mean, I mean, it's funny. Like, you can, you can be full disclosure and be having a conversation. Yeah, why are getting mad? We're just talking about it. Like, I, I, th this conversation came up here. So. Yeah. You know, I mean. That will. We'll, we'll, we'll get shut down. If, if I continue. Like off of YouTube forever. Kind of stuff. <laughs> like I'll take your damn name down and cancel your orders. I don't have a problem doing no, that either. Won't. Yes, the hell I will. Some of y'all are lucky as hell that I can't see the comments. I, I bet that because of the text messages I'm getting. My mom says the draw for me is USA, but nothing wrong with telling and selling the other option with full disclosure. Yeah, I mean, the blem line is the economy line. I mean, it's one of those things that we, we're talking through if people want it. 
Because I can tell you the headache. Pete's sake, he's not selling out. You all have to chill with that. Yeah. Don't even tell me how many people. Because, well, I can, I can easily go back and just start taking names like a damn principal. <laughs> yep, canceled. <laughs> you know, if YouTube can cancel you, I can cancel you too, right? Because this is I my I think house. anybody who's over there getting mad needs to realize we're talking to y'all about it because we like talking to y'all. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if we were doing something nefarious, we wouldn't tell you about it. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. That's we, would just, we would just do it and you wouldn't know. Right, so, so you go, these are all the reasons we're not doing this. And then you're like, oh my God, I can't believe you're talking about the reasons you're not doing this. Are you retarded? you like, do you eat paste? Is that what you do? $4.99. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> like, People are taking contact adhesive and spray it in their mouth before they get on the lives, I guess. And then their phone overtakes. Their Chinese made phone. You're a sellout. Okay. Aren't you selling out on your phone right now? I haven't even made a damn blade overseas, you freaking retard. <laughs> S, maybe you put an S on there. Insane. Yeah. That's that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Nobody don't let the evil people control your mood from Yojo76. I'm just one of those uh like I'm reactionary because all of my past jobs have helped me stay alive from reacting quickly. Hey, dollar so ninety nine from me. Sean Lichtel. It's fine with disclosure. You're not selling out. Yeah, I just need you to reach out to Anderson. C Dub folders, ten dollars from Fish Ranch. Thank you. <laughs> insane. insane. You know what I mean? You know. Stephen Clayton says, I love my FLN. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, that's a good thing I didn't have coffee. Especially like some high some high high caffeine coffee. I'll be handing out free hugs. I'm just reading so many comments. There's a whole bunch coming in. People are probably getting mad at me defending myself. Um I like S Kill. Yeah. S kill. T kill and S kill. <laughs> but yeah. I could never take credit because you're the you're so good at your designing. Yeah. Like, and I mean so it, it it is kind of interesting to people to see people have vitriol about something you're not even doing. You know what I mean? Like that's brainless. Can I see a mercenary and FMF beside each other, please? From Justin Lebo. I have them both right here on the wall. Offering them under a different name offers many benefits and minimal detriments. Can you see them? Are they in the right position? Hey, two dollars for S. Kel for Mistold. <laughs> Pretty funny. Like we were just talking going about going bigger equals more headaches. We're not actually talking about going bigger, are we? No, not at all. So. That's what's funny. Like whatever we do, don't hire more Americans to build your American-made blades. That would be dumb. Can you back up a little so you can see the whole knife? Yeah. Just the, the whole. The grip is the same. So lengthwise. Hey, uh, for people that have mercenaries and FMFs, which one do you like better? So look, at the, the the blade length difference is a quarter of an inch. I mean, technically you get more cutting surface because you don't have this finger cut out here. And the grips are identical. They both have that same style locking sheath. This is the older nickel boron that wasn't as durable of a finish. And the newer, the T1C is much People better. People said they'll work for you. Yeah, yeah, but everybody says don't don't make more knives. Just make enough knives to make sure your kids have socks and underwear. What did Matthew say? I missed it. Uh oh, Matthew. What wild board meeting did I just stumble into? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greetings from Poland. Is from John. Jan. Jan. Good also, afternoon can to you. you. Compare a raider and a combatant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all ready for another Piranha giveaway? Uh, hey, you know what? Ben Simon, 1999. Welcome to T Kell Polar Chat for <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's like there must be a lot more anger. I than actually you. told Tim before we started this. I said, if we talk about this, you got to realize that some people are so. This is like a religion to them. It's like a political thing like republican versus democrat like if you bring up the usa made topic it people just quit listening 
And, and it's it, no, no. And, and like, even if you're looking, saying I'm not doing, we're not doing that, we're just talking about. It's crazy. That's what's insane. All right. So, um, IX bad SS, SP XRT XL. How can I purchase the Night Stalker? We sold out, but we are dropping more on April first. April the one. Joey said he'd work for you. I said the commute would be rough from Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Start walking Where's there. Cheryl, are they in Arizona? Yeah. Is it my too close again? Yeah, you're good now. All right. So there's the combatant next to the raider. The new one, though, there's going to be jumping on the back and a lot of rounding here. And then the swedge is going to be much more like the raider. So it's going to be like full length. Back to. I don't Ray Moon, though, what is your favorite taco? You like. Tim loves pastor tacos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. I can't eat those like really authentic Mexican tacos like the tripas and stuff. Ugh, cannot eat that. Yeah, because she knows that it's stomachs. <laughs> but it's not, they're not delicious. Tim likes all that stuff. Yeah. Where? Oh, yeah, the lengua I can do. The lengua's good. Tongue! What would be the benefit for an EDC combatant? Are you thinner? Are you saying? Can you compare the Raider to the Outer Limitless? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There it is. It's weird. Like Man, we're, this live is like flying by. Probably because people are stupid. Hashtag Piranha. Don't spell it wrong. Sometimes y'all get this Piranha. wrong. Oh, we weren't going to drop the Outer Limitlesses on. Is that right? Outer Limitlesses? <laughs> anyway, on April 1. But I was talking with Eric about that, and we are actually going to do that. And I've increased the batch. I'm going to let you keep those held up because I've got the word on the screen so people can't see it very well. Oh. Let me know when the word's not on the screen. I'll take it off. All right. So, Blade... Comparison wise, raise it up just a bit so the it's a considerably longer and a deeper belly, but it has a high grind, so it's a slicey little guy. And then the swedge is really thin and diamond shaped, and then it's more of a full length handle. Like um, Pete Sakes hashtag stand by TKL no matter what, <laughs> <laughs> or you get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. I can't believe you talked about people making blades other places. How dare you? I can't believe that. I totally. And, you know, I've, I've seen some of uh, Neve's stuff where he's talking about railing on American makers need to bring their level up. We're not one of those people that, that is not making the quality that you can get. We are making the quality. And I do the hard ass work of sourcing even my screws. Look, I can tell y'all. I am, like I said, the bad influence that's in the background that goes, can't you just get these here? They're way cheaper. It's also... And he he works so hard to get everything. And he's not he's not lying about that stuff. Everything he does is USA. I know. I mean, that's like... And the only thing I can think of that you have that's not is probably like the hats and stuff. Yeah, the do hats and the packs. But, you know, I have my buddy, my local friend that does all the embroidery on our hats. I mean, we, we you can't even find 100% cotton-made tactical hats. What's compachana? I don't know what that is. Compachana. I know what pastor would be steak and cheese. Yeah, that would be delicious. I don't know what compachana is. And you speak Spanish? Well, I've never heard of that. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody said they want a hat, so we'll give away some hats, too. Okay, we got some of those. This hat, I like these. These are who makes these? Richardson. These the, Richardson. Uh, let's see where they're made. You sure you want a hat? All the hats are made in China. You freaking circus animals. <laughs> oh, I took the tag out. Probably because I was ashamed it was made in China. I ripped it out. <laughs> this ponytail is made in Georgia. In case you were curious, just like all the rest of my stuff. Oh, actually, I do buy products from Connecticut. Is that a foreign country to Southerners? Probably. The G10 is made in Connecticut, in case you're wondering. Screws, Pittsburgh. 
What uh, what blade is bottom row six over from the left from David Sauceda? This row or this row? I don't know. <laughs> Richardson is in Bangladesh from Phil Billy. Okay, if you're if you're talking about this one, bottom row six from the left. We don't even want to talk about that blade. Because that's Michael Emler's blade that he did with Wee Knives that's made in, let's say it together, that is a damn good quality blade. If that's the one you're talking about. Um, uh, uh, how about a t-shirt giveaway? Yeah, we'll do hat and t-shirt. We're running out of time, though. I need to get these. Man, I can't believe it. I, actually, I'm, I'm running off of, like, anger today. <laughs> well, let me say, I've been looking at the comments. Nobody has said anything mean. There was one comment that said, I can't believe you're going to sell out. Or something, but most everybody's just dis having discourse over it. They're not saying like terrible things about you. Hoodie giveaway, yeah, we could do that too. Yeah, that's the same thing, Pete. I'm the same way. Usually, I'm pretty laid back, but some stuff, man, it just it it, it boils it boils my freaking blood, dude. And I'm just hearing secondhand. Well, I just told you nobody said anything mean. I just don't like even the inference that we're selling out. But when you see tirelessly how hard I work, you know how hard it is to buy a plastic made clip in the United States? The molds to make the stupid multi clip cost $10,000 for a piece of metal to plastic inject. This is true because I wrote the check. And she was so mad about that check. She's like, How much would these cost? Over? I'm like, Pennies. Pennies. Like the multi clip, we break even on it. That literally is how much it costs. The other row, please, David said. So Thank you. There. I don't want to talk six about Six from the left. One, two, three, okay, four, don't five, six. Y'all don't forget to enter into the giveaway. Hashtag. Oh, these are the. Give you a few more minutes. This one. So this is on the combatant handle. This is the. Just the prototype blank for the new Warncliffe that's coming on the combatant handle. I hope these are at Blade Show too, but who the F knows? Anthony said, I'm not saying anything mean, but Gunny wants a word with you about that ponytail. <laughs> that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> Listen, man, I was at New River. So I was training at New River just out of MCT. And, you know, New River and... uh Lejeune, they're all literally connected by that little bridge. And uh, the New River Chow Hall, hold up, man. Wait. Uh -oh. Damn, what's the Chow Hall there? Not Lejeune. There's New River, Lejeune, and there's another one that's right there. It's another base. They're all literally connected. Damn. I'm, a, I'm completely drawing a blank. The Chow Hall of the if Year. Would on, it was on, he'd probably know, but I don't think he's on. Anyway, so we're coming out of the PX. Hey, I'm, Ed, um, make sure you spell it P-I-R-A-N. <laughs> she can't even do it. <laughs> Ask your Chinese phone how to spell piranha. Y'all make sure you spell it right. Goodness it gracious. Um, um, you guys, look, I was trying to buy an American-made cell phone, and that bastard was $3,000, and she told me she would kill me if I bought that phone. That's how vehement I am. Oh, yeah, we get $60 American-made socks in the mail. <laughs> I'm getting mine off Amazon. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I can't believe you spent this for socks. I'm like, look, it's American wool. The dude's a veteran. I get it. I not. I think it's honorable. But anyway, that you do that. I just am not as virtuous in that way as you. But I am proud of you for doing. That. She basically likes Chinese people more than me. That's all we're saying. That's all we're talking about. Anyway, so this is the new Warren Cliff on the combatant <laughs> handle. Hey, I love my darn tough socks. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm wearing uh, covert threads. Cherry Point was that the base, Tim? No, Cherry Point's about an hour north of Lejeune. I mean, I cannot believe. Am I gonna have to Google this? I no, freaking Tari Char eight. No, it's you have to spell it. You have to spell it like this. P I R A N H A. Hashtag piranha. Last few entries. I'm about to do the drawing. Can you show the agent 
No. When is it going to be available? <laughs> anyway. I saw my freaking senior drill instructor when I was coming out of the PX when I was stationed at New River. And I didn't know what I like freaking froze. Now, my senior was a pretty, pretty decent. Well, they all were decent dudes. But anyway, um, my freaking roommate, who's also the guide on my guide on at uh, Paris Island, Nick Nugent, he had like this little Marine Corps reg mustache. So like, you know. Uh, eighth inch above your lip right, and doing the drawing. inside the thing and our freaking senior drill instructor goes you shave that nasty trash off your face it was the best thing in the world i freaking loved it so you're right and he was uh he was staff sergeant at the time jason bailey Miley. i know that's congratulations you want a piranha blim with an with the old style sheath you can email us and we'll get you um, taken care of. But yeah, Gunny would hate the ponytail. <laughs> How many Marines do that though? I mean, like they get out and they like grow hair down to their anus and freaking beards to their belly button. The Warncliff combatant is coming soon. I think we're going to make the Tontos first. I've got those next after we get done with the new combatant. So it'll be in this order, I think. But I can switch the order up because we haven't started them yet. So Sue um, was saying something about like people will pay for premium products. She I do. She mentioned her, um, I think, goat and maybe some other type of meat. We do that for food. And oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. That is really important. I don't think it would be a lesser product. It would be, comp, you know, good for the price. I mean, from what I've seen. Their the quality's crazy good. I was talking with a dude, like I said, way up in the industry. Like if I drop the dude's name, everybody like, oh yeah, know that guy. Heard of him. Um the, the last give last couple giveaways, I'm gonna do merch. So like t-shirts and hats. Like a t-shirt and a t-shirt of your choice and a hat of your choice. The, where the money comes in and those type of things is paying a person a living wage to perform the work. So the prices of our stuff is like that because when we buy a screw made in America, Beef we're paying them, 10 yeah, times more so for important. a screw, literally, than you would if you got it anywhere else. Because the owner of that company has to pay hey, a person. Sue, do you ship your items or is it just local? I was going to tell people to look you up. Yeah, or us. <laughs> yeah, we, we get ours from a, a farm up the road. We get our sausage from there, our raw milk. And yeah. Eggs, we stuff. we get all, yeah, grass fed too, man. We don't play around with that crap. What's your best knife for self defense, and why? And then somebody also asked earlier if they could see the striker uh -huh. horizontal to see if it would take. I think it was Frank to see if it would take too much space up on their belt. Um, I think I've got a sheath out there. What was the first question? That one seemed oh, best for self defense. That depends on training. Mostly, you know, what you're comfortable with. Do you like a ring grip? Because rings help with retention and they're easier to draw. So, you know, if you let go, you can hold on to it. This is the Stalker, the Night Stalker and AEBL. I typically carry the Raider, but I've been carrying the latest batch of Stalkers to test out the new sheath, which I freaking love. Um, if you're thinking you're more likely to be in a CQB, close quarters, conflict something with a reverse edge is always good and a ring is good too so that they can't take it from you like a reverse tanto or the cqc version of the night stalker um but i will say anything even a sharp stick is better than no thing if you know what i'm saying so that's really tough because some disciplines like for a pacal they train only reverse grip so this blade is only sharp on that side and that's for a different type of work. So cycling inside close trapping, but then a traditional blade, like say an FMA Filipino style, that's more at distance and you have your forward press out. So it's going to be different. -er. Kyle. Uh, I like the ring stuff this. defensively. Uh-oh. She butchered it. 
<laughs> she butchered your name. I'll live in good. You will probably so hate circling us. Circling back to the folder, was the shop up here able to help out? I guess he emailed or told you a shop to check out. Holy the crap. I totally forgot about that. Oh, there was somebody around here he recommended? No, it was up north. I totally forgot, man. Damn. I wonder. I try to, I think they were just a machine shop, right? But not experienced in making folders. I think that's what the thing is. And that's kind of what we ran into also. But I got to be honest with you, man. I, I totally forgot about that. Delaware. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, David asked if the pacal can be sharpened on both sides. It can. We we did that by request for people. I don't recommend it because you're going to lose some tip strength because that's a dead flat edge anyway. And if you don't know, when you have your edge on the bottom side and you're taking away all the metal on the top that would make that strong like a Tonto full thickness, that tip is going to be really thin. So if you take out more metal even more here, Hey, can we give Hunter a warthog for his birthday present next month? Will they be done? Or you well, mean just like on the next drop because of all his help he gives us? One knife for the creation of Discord for you. Made in America. Just so you know. Just so you so know. So that's a yes. We'll put an order in for you. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, um Alec Goldie said I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> We're twins. We're totally twins. To went away and then he asked something and I already forgot. So wait, it's technically almost 1300 and I'm surviving without caffeine, which means what? As soon as we turn the camera off, I'm going to fall on the floor and go to sleep on this mat. <laughs> Cause I got you angry today. If you could only pick one knife, what would it be and why? From Harvey Do 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 <sighs> Here's the problem. I make all my knives. Hey, we're not favoring Hunter. Hunter, like if you, if if we saw y'all out there like spending what I know takes a long time of promoting and he does it without asking for anything. So if y'all were doing that, we would reward you also. No, so we, we basically like did it because favoring. we like him better than all the rest of you. That's why we did it. That was and and we also used to rig all the drawings and we would I would text him personally the answers to the trivia questions so none of you could win. That's what we would do. That's just what we do. Hunter actually well, I know how long it takes because I've set up like we well, tell the truth. Hunter media. is our seven year old daughter upstairs. That's who that is. She's just really freaking smart and we make up all this stuff. Like like for seven, yeah, it takes a long time. Like it, it, when you set up any sort of a social media thing, like it is a pain in the butt and I have to do it for, we don't have a person that does it for us. So that's why we don't post as often as like a big company because it's, constant. it's us. It's like <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's as a thanks. I mean, it's, it's not, we do give a lot away. If you guys are new to the community, we give away a lot of stuff. Can you show the nightshade reverse Tonto? We have one? I was supposed to be answering another question first. One one blade to rule them all. That I wanted to that, that um Alec Goldie or whatever he had asked and I lost it. There was I forgot what was, it was that the striker question no, that I never he got asked to? Something else. Um <laughs> ask again. Okay, so here's this merch. reverse Santa. We're gonna do uh you could pick a t shirt one. or a sweatshirt. It's not sharp and, or yeah. has a grip on it. That's what it was. Blade recommendations for those who have Krav Maga training. I, well, I'll tell you, one of the deadliest people that's Krav Maga trained that I know is Emery Morgenstern. And, uh, is that what he does as Krav Maga? Well, he's Israeli, so oh, he at least had some. <laughs> oh, that's the Israeli form of the, they do arts. some Krav Maga training in the Israeli military, but he's since gone on to do a lot of other stuff, but um, a lot of the grappling and trapping people like a ring blade. And I think the CG is a very durable blade for combat. Let y'all see it. I'm going to take the word away from you. So this is a, uh, the reverse Tonto. Somebody has to see it. Sorry. I didn't have a grip on it. Imagine it. Imagine it with a grip on it's it. Focusing on your beautiful face. Um, that's a lie. Look, right, there we go. You're good now. Okay, all right, good. But yeah, 
I went to cut my my beard this morning, and C Dub said, "If you cut that raise thing shorter, up. you raise me up." There you go. Got it. Reverse tanto. So these edges would be sharp were this not one that I just took off the wall. Typically. Yeah, you can't sh I don't like when you shave your beard too much. No, she like does it. not. She would have me make all of my blades in China and look like I was homeless. That's if she had her way. Anyway, that's the Night Stalker CG oh, man. in the old finish. I wish finish. we could still have that old finish. Yeah, if the people that used to do this finish were not completely unreliable. Raise it up a little. You all give away a thousand a week. That's incredible. I, yeah, I guess it probably. Yeah, is. easily if you take the monetary cost. Roz, ten dollars to help with shipping. Thank you. Thanks, Brohan. John Gazakowski, Giz have you thought about custom handles such as rosewood? Uh, look up Mistold. Lee does some beautiful custom handle work. He does, and I used to do all that stuff. I actually, I started. I have a vacuum chamber to stabilize wood in that i used to use and i started out making stabilized wood and acrylic oops sorry lee i still have not sent you pictures of the acrylic that i have yeah uh, i mean you can just show them on the i mean i have one I don't know if he's still on he may have went to church but but this is one of the acrylics that i had oh, yeah he's still on special made this is one of them i've got a sheet of this look at this stuff this is what we used to do like our knives used to be so colorful and until the customer started pulling you in another direction. Because mm -hmm. we listen. We listen to customers. Shocking. That one's beautiful. Um, He said send it to him. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but you got to make me some grips out of it. I'll buy them. Because I know, it take, I know what it means to make a freaking acrylic handle. Um, I'll tell you a trick I used to use too. Um, get a router table. Gus, you should see these daggers he designed. He forgot the stupid man. They're awesome. I can't believe models. this. I thought I showed him show last week. week. We'll do it next week. Um, so Lee, I would make sure I get them completely dead flat, and then I used a router table with carbide bits, and that way, and with a uh, three sixteenths round over that they use for making like quarter round and stuff. But three sixteenths is the radius, and you can run that knife all the way around on both sides and it takes that freaking long and it's a perfect radius. I still use that same radius on my grip. Now, that 316th round over is what I do. So once you get that radius on there, then you can hit that with like some 400 grit and then use that pink nose scratch and you will cut your time by like, hours of work to get that perfect radius. And if you're already doing that, I'm not... I didn't. Three sixteenth got it from this tool. Uh, I'll send you a picture of my setup that I used to use, but it's because the bearing that's on the top of a roundover bit rides on the steel. So you build the blade and you can use the lashing screws to hold it together to get it tight. 82 degree countersink. Y'all enter this contest. And that we... bearing will ride on the metal so Hashtag that it won't merch. push too far into and cut it and then just zoop. I do that with G10, I do it with wood, I do it with acrylic, but carbide, good quality ones. Um, can you discuss the differences between the Night Stalkers? Hey, Harvey, we have a video called... But I'll show them right so, now. I don't remember what it's called, but it's it's it discusses the different, all the different Night Stalkers in detail. But I'll show them right now, since we're on a roll, and I'm less angry all of a sudden, which is surprising. Okay. <laughs> Standard Night Stalker. Whoa! $99.99. I'd like to donate this towards a blend for somebody that can't afford a, afford a tea kettle but wants one. Thanks, guys. Wow, thank you, So Josh. between the donations now that we got this week on Patreon and the people we still need to send uh, invoices to to be able to facilitate those donations, plus Josh's donation, now we have enough to cover two blades to give away to people. And that, you guys, is freaking awesome. So That's Harvey, why we work hard. Harvey, what are you confused about? He said he saw the video, but he's still confused. Okay. Night purchase. Stalker. 125 thick steel. You've got the jimping that's on the outside. It is a non-polished edge. So I leave this water jet on the outside and the inside of the ring. 
originally that was for grip, but now people are just used to seeing it that way. So that's the Night Stalker. The CQC is that same exact blade with the jimping here and here with the first. Wait, can I just say something real quick? Yeah. Um, for the donation that Josh just made, we have a list on Patreon for people that can't afford. At, right now, it's only open on Patreon for Patreon members. So if you want to go join the Patreon, there's a free level just so we can. It's easier to collect the list. Yeah. You don't have to pay to be on the Patreon. We've got a list and probably what we'll do is just a, uh, a random for one of the people that's on the list from the hundred that he just gave. Yeah. So, all right. Inch and three quarter reverse edge sharpened on the CQC. So these two guys, the sheath is going to be the same. Steel thickness is 125. Those are um, the, the grips that are red and black. It's called Hades. It's this burl pattern, like a swirly. Yeah, pattern. which and is. the blue and black is midnight. Right. Um, we, and I do have the new. Uh, well, they were just asking what the grips were. This and this one's Warrior. The, so the CG, the, it's got the full profile. So it's smoothed all the way around. It's rounded over on the tops. Um, this is an older model, so the jimping has gotten heavier on this part. It's 165 thick, and all of it's got a lot more machining as far as rounding on the inside and the outside of the ring. It's just a higher end, much higher quality appearance wise and feel. So, just a little bit thicker, and it's got the full profile passes, and it just it has more of a heft to it. So it's a stronger blade if you're going to be doing more like heavy EDC type of work. What was the new name I came up for the blue and black barrel? I already forgot it. It was a Air Force name, wasn't no, it? No, I changed it because nobody knew what the hell Tac P was. Oh, um, Fury. Yuri. Oh, John White, that's so sweet. He said TKL family is the best. I don't have any family besides my wife and kids. I don't have any family besides my wife and kids, so I've adopted the TKL family as my own. That's hey, look, that's my situation. <laughs> so you guys are my family too. I mean, I have family, but um, yeah, we don't really get any along. Any time frame on your EDC screwdriver pry bar tool? You're talking about our little. Oh, we probably need to add some to inventory. Oh wait, I may have to make more of those because we were getting low on them, and I just. Uh, Anyway, we're at, we're at two hours. I need to do this merch giveaway. Can you show the Taylor's Ridge and Bushman from Mr. Ed? I can. Just... Hunter likes the name Poseidon for the Burl Blue. Oh, man. I wish I hadn't had the new website built out with Fury. That is a cool name. That's better than what I yeah, came up with. You could change it. Yeah, hey, it hasn't Bella, been launched yet. Bella, $20. He'd like to contribute to the giveaway. Thank you. All right. So, listen, both of these are not 100% representative of the. So this, my Bushman, I, I like that camo pattern. And this is the the first that I hand ground the new swedge in. So can see. Oh, okay. Uh, red and black burl grips are available, but we don't have it on the website yet. If you want those, just email us. So there's the Bushman and the Taylors. Big difference. Brian so, Gezel, Gezel Burst said he wants to donate 200 for someone for a blend that deserves one. Thanks, Brian. Awesome. I, I know yeah. you're a patron too. Thank so. you. And you, you can reach out, whatever, via text. Um, so the Bushman is a narrower blade. So Hunter said Greek god na Greek names for the, I think, I think he said Greek names for the handle colors. All right, let's do this giveaway. Uh, I was going to do two merch giveaways, but we're already like over time. Scott, that's a the 365 AXG Legion today is what I'm carrying today. The Legion 365. That's my most carried um, because, you know, if I'm just around the house, it's small and compact and that way we eight. run up the road. You won a merch pack so you can pick. Well, we could give you a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and a hat. Hari Char 8. Congrats. Congratulations for your new wardrobe. 
You have to wear it every day. So you have to do like Joey used to if do. If y'all want to stay it. on five more minutes, I'll do one more giveaway. If not, we'll wrap it up here because we're already over. Who the H wouldn't stay on for a free knife? No, I wasn't going to do another knife. I was going to do another merch pack. Oh, okay. Well, somebody Oops. did ask if we could give away a Night Stalker, but I don't have a sheath for that right now. We're we're still making those. Right? I finished 150 of them. <laughs> They're literally like right there. So we want to do a, a Night Stalker giveaway? With the all black. Do we even talk about that now that everybody's on? How many humans are on right now? 208. Look, so that's the difference. All black versus... And I haven't thinned this out yet. This is just after we pressed it and got it. So there's the difference. So here's the new one. Black. All black. So the, the all black rivers are finally freaking done. But obviously I'm going to thin all this out. There's way too much extra material. Man, they look good. They look good. I like them. I want to save this one for next week. And jump off. We'll keep going. Man, I can tell I didn't have any extra. Yeah, we're, we can stay another hour. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I'm losing my voice. Okay, we'll we'll do this this night stalker giveaway, and I'm gonna get the we'll get the giveaway updated this week. It'll be eighty CRV by the for way for the. Um, the people that can't afford, we're going to do a few of those this week, and we probably can do a couple more now that we had a, a few more donations. Two, two, six, Scott. That's my fave. Josh L, are you going to make more black hoodies? Do we have more black hoodies in two X? Yeah, we're going, I think we got F tons in two X. Is that the ones that you forgot to order? Oh, is it? I'll need to look. But, I mean, look, it doesn't take my guy. He's right up the road to get the T-shirts. It's usually like a week. Hashtag stalker. Hashtag stalker. But don't stalk people. <laughs> it's named after the Special Forces Helicopter Unit. Okay? Not the people that do stupid stuff to other humans. Get it right. Um... That two two six, Scott. That's that's my favorite thing all the time. Two twenty is is uh, an earlier single stack, which I love, and they're beautiful too. But the two two six, the double stack, twenty eleven, they call it because it's nineteen eleven is forty five. Um, if we have those sweatshirts, reach out to us. We'll give you one. I'm pretty sure Tim forgot to order a certain size and a certain color, but that happens okay. all the time. But what he said he's gonna do. Is because we order so many t-shirts, he's going to start like stocking them for us. So then when I order them, he'll just bring them over. Oh, that's cool. Liberty Apparel in Ringgold, Georgia. How did you mount that with the soft loops from Crispy? This is the new style sheath. It's the only one that'll do it. Can you show it? Did yeah, you show it but I can show you on the new one too. It's not been mounted yet. You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, this slot with it's thinner than this one, but this is the exact outside the diameter of the mounting hardware. So it goes through the soft loop and then the sheath. And then in all of the new sheaths, you'll, sheaths, you'll be able to do that, right? Yeah, except for we jacked up the freaking nighthawks the first batch of nighthawks that irritated the piss out of me really yes i told them make the spacing like this so that we can fit the hardware in there approve it and then they go and make 200 freaking nighthawk sheets with the super thin slot that are you just, still going to use those yeah we have to <laughs> i mean we got to use them i mean there's a lot of cost if it's kydex it's made in the u.s by the way Crazy. They don't even have their own, like, which Night Stalker is this for from Hunter? He's probably going to, like, take notes. Hmm? You said it's an ADC RV2 Night Stalker, yeah. right? Yeah. It's yeah. probably a blend. Yeah. Well, see, we sold 300 Night Stalkers on January the 1st, but I made 1,200. You picking up what I'm laying down? ADC RV. All right, y'all got like one more minute. I'm gonna dr do the drawing at two two hours and ten minutes on my end, so that's gonna be like Man. one more minute. 
We keep pushing it. We keep pushing ten minutes. These. It's only ten minutes. Well, I mean, I don't care. They'll stay here as long as I will, right? But no coffee today because I spent my twenty minutes of hate to energize myself instead of coffee. Coffee. Oh, when you got mad, that was your energy. Yeah, man. That. Look, man, y'all gotta understand. January first, Night Stalkers are currently shipping. We've shipped quite a few of those. Yeah, we've shipped most of the AEBL, but then they were in the all copper rivets, and then yeah. the black. Don't forget to get sugar for the live next week. Right, <laughs> the black rivets came in. They got done, so we stopped making the sheaths because they were kind of prototypeish in the copper rivets. Hate the brass. is an awesome motivator. Yes, it is, man. Caffeine and hate, black coffee and hate. That's the whole Marine Corps. Um, that's why I'm good at it. Well, so straight, I can't believe you haven't had coffee. I know. I'm going to yeah, fall that's why, out. that's why we're both over here yawning. Yeah, you guys bore me to death. Just kidding. It's just a lot of output. But so we, we switched before we finished shipping the batches to the black on um, black sheaths. So if you got one in the all brass, which I think looks really freaking right, cool. we're about to do the drawing. Then you can, we can trade it out for an all black. But that's what stopped us from Are shipping. these drawings done on unique entries or multiple? Unique. Yeah. They so do. if you enter twice, the, the picker is going to boot you out. And I guess we need to look into, you can only win once a month. Well, a lot of people said they didn't like that idea. I mean, I personally wouldn't either. But. <laughs> we, I don't know. I guess it depends on how many people. Dwayne Letterman. He's never won. Uh, all three people that have won today, I don't recognize their names being patrons or anything. So they're all well. Like, well, that's cool that it's not because everybody. Yeah, everybody I'm pretty has sure some idea that they think it's rigged. I'm pretty sure everybody thought it was rigged with Hunter, who now we have divulged is my seven year old daughter. Um, and then they thought that it was rigged, and we kept giving them all to Casey Shelton, but he just got lucky that day. And Casey Shelton even gave away his. Yeah, he gave life. it away. You crybabies. But you know, facts are not important. Oh, I'm sorry. He said he was a patron. I'm sorry. We've gotten so many now. It's like totally forgot about I you. I don't recognize. Well, it may be that I don't recognize the YouTube screen name too. Yeah, that could be it too. Dwayne Letterman. Wow, awesome first win here. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Send us an email. We'll get you squared away. Yeah. Sorry, D Money. I know that was insulting to call you that, but it kind of made me smile. A and bit. Jason Bailey. Yeah, I do remember that now. I'm sorry, Jason. <laughs> I don't know why. So everybody that. on here is a patron. Sorry. Sorry. It's hard to keep up with them all. So that's that's good. That... So everybody that won is a patron, actually. Awesome. Except for maybe Dwayne Letterman. Didn't he just say? Uh, somebody else said they were. Oh, okay. Maybe he will be now. <laughs> Who knows? All right, we got to jump off. Hunter, I'm sorry. Camera Cat was here earlier, Trust Monkey. You missed it. Yeah, I got to rewind it. Brah. I held it up. But anyway, Hunter, um, I'm sorry if that Sam bothered you. asked a million times about Agent 001 drop. Oh, I'm hoping to drop it on... Oh, you wanker, Sam. Look what you made me do. I knock those down every time. So this is the final proto in the resin. So that's it. Done. We got the steel last week, but I haven't made a final steel prototype yet. No, no, no apologies needed. I just got so many comments, I missed it. Yet. So, I hope we'll drop this, uh, don't know yet, on the April 1st. Sorry, I'm typing the... I'm sorry, I just... I got completely thrown off. And because... Hunter said, technically, I haven't won a giveaway since October of last year. Yeah. And he was winning them all. Why'd you get thrown off? Clayton. Oh. Guess what he has. What? The new thing you want? The Riot. <laughs> of course. Oh, that knife? That one I've been wanting forever. Oh, those are easy to get, aren't they? Not though. No, they're not. Some are, some are not. All right. Thank but you, yes. Guys. Well, I'm picking stuff up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I knocked all those down. Y'all have a great day. Hopefully it's a nice, nice weather. Where and Hunter are. is a real person, not a small girl. Yeah. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs>
Hunter, thanks for what you're doing, man. Christopher Petri, thanks for the weekly update. Much appreciated. Did you? God bless you. God bless you, Cheryl. Yeah, guys. God bless. Have a great week. Um, I'm hanging it up now, honey. Bye. You like you're about to talk again. I'm just always talking. Okay. Bye, y'all. Have a great day.